Alright, hey uh, Earth Restoration Camp, uh, this is Carlos Carlos. Uh, I get noti many notifications a day actually from Tom Catino, uh, who's always tirelessly uh, working on restoring the Earth, which I think is what the steward calling for all of us really has, and he just can't uh, deny that feeling. So anyways, I'm walking against pipelines right now, and I'm walking through New Jersey, which gives unique opportunity to be around the suburban disgust. I'm trying to think of a word that's not just me swearing, um, although it certainly warrants swearing. So um, here I am in sub typical suburban yards. I actually just had to cross over some fences because uh, my map led me astray and I was in a no outlet so I hopped over a fence to see that they're building tons of more houses on the other side it's almost like they're being hidden from me until I went and trespassed a little but I called this video unlawful persons which play on word of unlawful persons um, I was thinking this is just me being creative activism but so we see a typical boring lawn, see a lot of them. But in these houses sometimes dwell people who are upset about and incensed about the destruction of uh, natural lands. Look, the cabinet guy is here. Uh, kind of what the pipeline that I'm pro myself protesting is against. So what I was thinking is we could have like a sign here if a person wants to participate, and we could do this for a two-year pledge or multi-year, that people will not maintain their lawn. They will not allow the um, landscaping crew to come in and do their stupid thing, the ma maintaining and constantly cutting down, often spraying the lawns. Um, but people will say, well, you're cutting down thousands of acres. Let's say, for example, you're cutting down a thousand acres to install uh, the Pilgrim Pipeline, well I'm in protest of that, so myself and 4,000 other people who all have a quarter acre plot, we're all not going to do anything with our lawn. And just maybe it could start as a two year pledge, they put a sign on their lawn instead of some stupid real estate sign, it could be a sign that says unlawful, unlawful lawn, and basically it's land that you're giving back to the ecosystem to balance out. Um, so right now we have, I'm guessing, some kind of development here. There were also, I should have started the video earlier. I didn't think of it till now. Um, but yeah, they're busily working, cutting down forest. You see the tree line all around it. I'm pretty sure there's at some point, maybe recently, a forest there. So um, I have to keep walking too. I've got 50 miles over the next two days. Actually, I have 57 miles over the next two days if I'm going to stay on time. And I, I can't really afford to be late because I do want to get to Cape May, New Jersey um, on time. But um, anyways, so just to explain, I've probably gone like seven miles today so far but um, maybe maybe only five. So either which way, I wanted to include you in my journey. I think I do wanna do more videos that are both for earth restoration, because that's really what I think is the actual solution. Um, we can keep stopping pipelines and stopping things, but until we stop ourselves from our destructive anti-earth habits, it's all for naught. Um, we can treat the symptoms, but the, we really have to treat the disease which is our abuse of the planet, our seeing land as an object to be a means to an end rather than its own end. So that's what we really have to fight. And I think restoring the earth, giving health to it is the most um, ethical thing we can all do. It's ecological, it's ethological to make up a word, and it's just really where we have to be at. And Plenty of people, I'm not one of them, but plenty of people don't like what's happening in the planet. And one idea is, yeah, have them let their lawns go. Just it could be, a, it's an awesome protest too. You're gonna notice the, the house that has no grass or really tall grass, you're gonna notice it. And if it's for a cause and it's not just 
them being lazy, but it's them actively giving land back in front of everybody, in front of everybody's faces in this boring suburban backdrop. Um, it stands out and it might break the mold. It might be what we need to really do, to really break through consciousness. Because until we're conscious that we're destroying the planet, we're not gonna stop destroying the planet because all of our habits uh, feed into that lifestyle. So we have to think of all kinds of different ways to break the monotony of everyday life. Um, I've never read it, but I've heard people give examples of it, and so I'm not going to say go read it, but the situationists of Guy Debeau, um, the creative ways of really getting through um, the habits of everyday life, the destructive habits that are what wear down the planet, um, is really where, in my mind, a lot of us should focus our efforts. If we're not directly on the ground planting trees, re reforesting, or re-grasslanding through Alan Savory type methods, um, which are probably fairly difficult to do for most of us um, because of land access and laws and there's just so many uphill battles. We have to gorilla herd and we have to somehow get herds of animals back on the land. But so assuming that we can't do that too easily, the other things we can do to titrate up to that are just to raise as much awareness by doing things in suburbia. Um, because that's where the majority of the people live. And um, I don't know. So it's just a thought. Let your lawns go. Encourage people to have your lawn. It could be part of a campaign. Um, just imagine that instead of this plain green land that has no terrain to it, it's flat and boring. Um, at least you, the grass will grow taller and will start to introduce microclimates. Um, people really want to get into it, obviously they can do earthworks and things. But yeah, so this would be part of, uh, sorry I'm reading what, uh, Hempcrete brother, but keep on going, keep moving. Thank you, uh, appreciate it. Um, so. Yeah, here's another, so it's just everywhere, like, it just gets me fucking angry. And I was talking about this earlier, about anger, we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't just, like, be passive or try and restrict our anger. Anger's there for a reason, it's survival, we have these emotions, and when anger rears its head, and you're angry about seeing stupid things, pointless, ugly architecture, raping of the land, it makes you mad, that's good and then being able to uh, use that anger to drive you forward is fine. I don't think it is a long distance run always, an endurance sport. I think we do need to sprint. We need intervals, high intensity intervals of um, activism that do break free from the daily drudgery. So uh, one thing I'll just share now, um, I did it with the pipeline with the uh, gas compressor station in Chesterfield, which is the beginning point of the Southern Reliability Link gas pipeline. It's a fracked gas pipeline. What I did the first time I got there, it just occurred to me because the security guard came out and it's his job, you know, to watch the property after hours. It was about seven at night, so there weren't workers there, but he was there. Um, and one of his compatriots down the road was at another stop. When the one guy came up to me and started taking my picture, because that's what they do, they take your picture, these private security companies. I said to him, I said, I don't, uh, I don't think what you're protecting is something worth protecting. I don't think it's a good job. If I were you, I'd ask for a transfer. I didn't say quit your job, um, but I felt like saying it. I quit my job, I'm doing a lot of stuff right now and I'm unemployed, um, but I'm using, I'm pouring as much energy as I can into this right now and hoping that maybe somehow I'll be able to make a living being an activist like this and being myself not needing huge funding. I don't have property taxes. I do have a child, but I don't have um, a ton of expenses, so there might be a way for me to keep doing this. Uh, hopefully it's valuable. I do see a few people watching now. I don't know if they're, this video will come to anything. But um, yeah, these, these things that are just part of our normal background world are killing the planet. And until we actively stop them, or counterbalance them by restoring 
huge pieces of land which are very possible um, it's not going to stop though and I don't know if we're always going to have the opportunity to restore other land if people keep putting um, developments on the land, suburban sprawl um, and certain tipping points are reached where we can't actually um, save forest as quickly as it's burning or being lost to desertification. That'd be uh, not forest land. So anyways, all right, this is Carlos. Uh, this video went on longer than I thought, but um, think about uh, maybe a campaign. We have signs on people's lawns. We started next year, uh, right in the spring, and they all agreed to be unlawful citizens, letting their lawns go. And it's for the cause of against all different sorts of things. I say we pile it all on. It's against pipelines. It's against um, suburban sprawl itself. It's against the way the uh, protected lands are now not going to be protected because of Trump um, and allied organizations. It's against everything because not everybody wants to garden their whole entire yard. It's a full, it could be a full-time thing if you have a quarter of an acre. But everybody would save money and be making a point and be saving time if they just let their lawn go, just see what grows there. And lots of stuff will grow if we're not constantly hacking it down. So that's, that's what I want to end with because that's what I started with and that's the point of the video. <sighs> Pardon me for all the um, babble in between. Oh, hey, there's Tom. All right. Thanks, Tom. Um, yes, actually, I'm looking for... Any ways to, and I've already networked with several environmental groups in the area, and I'm going to pitch this to the People Over Pipelines group. Um, even though their main thing is just the pipelines, I'm, I think it's important to do our best to pull people out of their specific, not in my backyard type issue, and show that we have huge issues with land use. So, um, anything we can do to get people seeing the big picture, seeing the forest not just the trees that are threatened, so to speak, um, is a good thing. So yes, you're right on, Tom, and um, I'm going to pay that forward. And please uh, just keep uh, sending groups my way that are interested. I'll be walking for the next five days straight. And then um, and then I'm going to do other pipeline walks and other activism, I, I hope to. So, all right. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.